it'll be a really good game, man. I'm excited to see it. Absolutely. It's going to be one of the best games of the day. So, Dave, then we move to one of the most surprising matchups of the weekend. That is the Big Ten Championship game. One week ago, we thought, oh, it's going to be Ohio State. We both picked the Buckeyes to beat Michigan. And now we sit here in defeat. Hats off to Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan Wolverines, though. My goodness, what a performance. And, hey, I mentioned it was going to come down to the running game. And, boy, did it ever. So with that being said, let's move on to this game. This week is what really matters. 8 o'clock kickoff on Fox. Michigan, the number two. Number two, Michigan Wolverines take on the number 13 Iowa Hawkeyes. Thank you, Graham Mertz, for giving the Hawkeyes another chance to win another game. Uh, <laughs> you really did Wisconsin well. But no, the Wisconsin, look, the Wisconsin Badgers played good. But moving to this game, Michigan currently favored by a whopping 11 points. But the Iowa defense has proven that they can win big games at some points during the season. But their offense has been lackluster. D, who wins the Big Ten championship game in Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana? Yeah, man. Uh, simple as as it, as it gets, man. Michigan. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just be for real. Um, you know, Spencer uh, Petras, the quarterback for Iowa, has not had a very good season. He started off, you know, pretty well. He was our Heisman of the week at one point in time, but he just hasn't been a very good quarterback. Um, they're not able to really move the football. You know, I think that I, th I think that um, Michigan's defense is elite, man. They have, you know, two edge rushers that are, are, are both elite. And when you have two edge rushers like Aiden Hutchinson and, and, and David or, or Dave or, or Jabo, you know, sky's the limit, you know, and, and especially getting after a quarterback who hasn't had a very good season. Um, so, yeah, give me Michigan to win this game, man. I'm I'm pretty confident that they'll be in the playoff. Like I said, playoff implications right here. I guess I should give Iowa a slight chance, but I don't. You know, D, everyone's thinking that Michigan's going to win this game. 76.5% chance to win, according to ESPN.com. Favored by 11 points. But this game's going to be way different than this past weekend's victory because Iowa is very strong with their run defense. This is really going to come down to Cade McNamara. Can he throw efficiently? Can he hold on to the ball? And can he make some some throws down the field when they, when they need him most? Because, look, Iowa as it stands, they're only giving up 105 yards rushing per game. And you best believe they're going to try to make Michigan one-dimensional. I think Cade McNamara, I think he's capable of doing it. And I think, like you mentioned, the Michigan defense is just as stout. Look, Michigan only allowing 17.2 points per game. Iowa 17.3. Pretty pretty close. A, a toss-up there. But where it stands differently is the offensive side of the ball. Michigan currently averaging 37.3 points per game, which is a record high for them in the Big Ten Conference. Iowa only 25.7. I'm sorry, Hawkeyes. Congratulations for making it to the Big Ten Championship, but I think Michigan wins this one by 21 points. That's a wrap for today. I know you think the season is over, but guess what? We're just getting started. When we come back next week, we'll discuss playoff predictions, bowl predictions, and we have a special game next week, the only game of the week, Army versus Navy on CBS. We'll be predicting that game as well. So get ready. College football is still here, and it's here to stay. As always, make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already to become a part of the Heisman Talk family. We're growing rapidly. We'd love for you to be a part of it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you share it with your friends, and make sure that bell notification is turned on so you can stay up to date when we post our latest videos. As always, this is Nate Dog and D signing off.